one question that I have is how to make drums more powerful. So this is a, a cool question. And um, one, one of the things that I, when, I, when I'm mixing drums uh, that I like to do is uh, I like to mix drums in terms of uh, uh, the overall group. So I, I don't go too much into like kick, snare, and try to add effects on that one. No, I put everything into a bus and then I mix that bus. Um, with that said, there are a couple. There are a couple of things that um, I usually make or I usually do to make my drums a little bit more more powerful, a little, a little bit more intense. And one of the things that I usually do is to add distortion. So um, distortion is something that you can uh, really, really easily overdo. And uh, if you if you are careful and you just do the right amount, it can really make your drum sound really, really, really powerful. And uh, like like Thomas said here, damn, this intro beats slap so hard. That's because one of the beats in the vibrant beat, I used um, the right amount of distortion on the um, on the drums, and that's why they they slap so hard. Because it's like one of the things that I like to do for my drums is to apply a little bit of distortion and one of the, the my favorite plugins actually is Camel Crusher for distortion and uh, it just gives uh, if you are careful with it and you don't overdo it it just gives a little bit of punch to the drums and make the drums sound a little bit more interesting a little bit more what's the word that I'm looking for a little bit more powerful and that gives that that slap um, that you are looking for and it sounds really cool if you if you are careful with the amount of distortion that you apply it will sound cool in your headphones in your speakers and also on uh, smartphones on uh, on the normal uh, phones that we have this has a, a crappy uh, mono speaker actually this one is has a stereo speaker uh, so it has a um, downward speaker and then this one here the the um, the earpiece also works as a second speaker that gives the stereo the stereo balance but it's not really really full stereo I, I would say but it sounds really cool um so yeah one of the things that i would do let's go to fl studio is to just load a distortion plugin and camel crusher is the latest one that i'm using you can also use for instance um, let's see we have a couple of distortion plugins here Blood Overdrive has distortion and Wave Shaper. You can also use one of these to get the some distortion. But I really like Camel Crusher, especially here the distortion. You have a tube distortion and also a um, uh, mesh 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 distortion, I guess. And you can combine two, the both of of uh, the both distortions, and you will be able to to get um, a more digital more modern distortion with this one and a more analog and old school type of distortion with this one so you can blend the two the two and um, this will really help to bring your drums make your drums a little bit fatter i think i have let me see i was making a beat before and i i had a couple of uh, um, drums here that i used with um, uh, that i applied uh, camel crusher to make the drums pop a little bit and there's uh, two z beats yo what's up man um, nice to have you in the chat uh, if you have any questions about music production you can just post them here in the chat and i will try to answer them the best that i can so this is the beat that i or the drums that i have very simple drums but you see i have a camel crusher and as you can see I have compressor and I have just a tube distortion here. Let's see the before and after. And you can hear it in the in the especially in the kick. The kick is where you will you will listen to the to the distortion especially in this case more but it just gives a little bit more power to the to the drums and again this is not i'm not overdoing it if i were to overdo it you will uh, really hear the distortion 
and this this doesn't sound that great i would say i mean you can you can use this if uh, if uh, you really need it if you if the effect demands for but for a normal song i would say it was too much but this one is just just about the right amount that uh, flattens the drums makes the snare a little bit uh, less less peak volume and makes the drums a little bit more more powerful and of course this also has compression so if i remove compression you see that uh, this also uh, applies some volume and this is the small things that sometimes we do and uh, it might not seem too much not um, it might not seem a big difference but overall it will make a, a very very huge difference and this is the things that uh, uh, sometimes it, it has to be subtle so if you do it if you overdo it then you will you will make it sound a little bit too much so you have to be careful with distortion but it's my go-to um, effect to make my drums more powerful <laughs> 